worried about brain health, getting dementia and Alzheimer's as we get older, as women over 50, those are some concerns that we need to be aware of and that we actually don't have to head in that direction. It's not inevitable. We can make changes. I'm recording this from Big Bend State Park off of the coast of Santa Cruz, California. And I was so excited and had so much joy today. It was so much awe. I'm going to be sending out some um, extra reels on Instagram. And it was so much fun because I went up this trail called Drool. And it was covered in the mountain lilac, the California lilac. And I was, I couldn't stop taking pictures. And that's actually one way we can actually keep our brain healthier. When we get outside, get excited about where we're going, get out and explore. And when we actually... Um, push our brain to do new things, when we push our bodies to get out and explore, when we're actually stimulate our brain and our hippocampus, it grows. And so when we do that, we're going to have better brain health overall. Now there's different things that we need to focus on to have overall brain health, but this one is super important to the make sure that as women over 50, I'm 61, down 100 pounds, used to weigh 225 pounds, and now I'm living low carb, <clears throat> and there's no excuse for, or I'm sorry, there's no reason why we can't all strive for that, because I didn't know what I didn't know back in the day, and I had to go through it, had to go through all the pain, it took me 25 years to get to where I'm at, or to actually start succeeding at what I'm doing, because I had to reverse the food sensitivities. And when you reverse the food sensitivities, you can have a better gut health. And so when I am looking over my client's test, I'm looking at their hormone test and their GI map test. I'm looking at their the level of dysbiosis in their and their bacteria that's in the gut. And then you can see some correlations as to what could be causing inflammation in our body. And when we have inflammation in our gut, it's gonna be in our brain and in our body systemically. And that's gonna cause your body to break down, your immune system to be on alert, and to cause more cytotoxic concerns in your body. All of that can actually lead to brain dysfunction. And so brain health doesn't happen because of just getting older. It's a breakdown of your body because you don't have the right gut bacteria. You might not be digesting what you need to digest. And um, the food you're eating might be creating more of an insulin load on your body. And so there's less ketones and mitochondria to nourish your brain. And there's less fat to nourish your brain overall. And so you got to remember our brains are fatty and we need the DHA for our brain health. That's how our species actually created brain health and bigger brains and bigger, stronger bodies and ancestrally is being on the coastal areas and creating a bigger brain and getting all of those nutrients into our body. So yes, I eat things like sardines. I eat grass-fed beef. I eat a holistic low-carb diet and that's the lifestyle I'm living. When we do that, we can create a better brain and we have more nourishment, more protein and more fat for our brain. And so there is a multifaceted approach to having better brain health. So if you're scared of, of Alzheimer's, dementia, Parkinson's and your brain breaking down, just know that it's not inevitable. You can actually correct it. I know of a case study that had actually corrected Parkinson's. She has no symptoms of Parkinson's and she's been on a holistic low carb diet and a lifestyle now. And so she no longer has those symptoms. And so it is possible to maintain better health for your brain and not get any, have any problems. But you gotta utilize your brain. You've got to get out and keep it stimulated. You want to get out and look at how you can make a bigger, better brain by what you eat, what you do, and how you manage your lifestyle. And as women over 50, we got to get out and live life as an adventure. I call my business Lori Ballou, Aging Adventurously, because this is something that I started that actually creates better health for my body and my brain and makes me so excited. I am so joyful when I get out on these trails and I was so joyful to find California lilac forest all around my trail that I was walking on. is super exciting to come out here mid-May up in the Santa Cruz um, mountains and to see behind me, you could see the redwoods regrowing because these are the California redwoods and they were burnt in a fire in 2020 and they're actually regrowing. It's super cool to see this process. And so the forest, I thought the forest would be completely burnt down, but there are some trees that didn't make it. Um, the one above me is actually not a redwood, but it is, um, didn't burn down so it's thriving it's so exciting to see all this new growth and this ladies 
gentlemen, this is what grows your brain. You've got to get excited. You've got to get out and have hobbies. You've got to be outside breathing in these essential oils. I was smelling the lilac. I smelled something that smelled like cinnamon. I couldn't track it down and I don't know if it was the lilac, but there was a cinnamon scent. Super exciting. I was so excited. And so I walked for a good hour and a half, probably an hour and 45 minutes because I did walk another trail prior to this one. And this trail that I just walked was about an hour and a half. I'm going to go back out on the trail again. And then I was getting my son building my solar callus. So I'm, I'm building up my tan and uh, trying to get it even. So um, all of this is what we need to do to create a healthier body is to get out and build our solar callus, get our sunlight, get out and get our movement. Somebody was talking earlier about getting out to the gym and doing, um, you know, the leg, leg, um, squats in lunges and i'm thinking i'm walking up this hill i'm getting my lunges i'm getting my butt workout i'm getting my steps in and um this is the kind of gym workout that i like can't do it every day i'm out on a trip that's something i haven't done in a year and um, i do like to plan these more often but last year was just a year that was in flux and so this year i'm actually able to get out more and go and do more things and i'm super excited to be able to keep my brain healthy because when i am not doing this i've noticed i've got more stress more anxiety and i feel like i'm stuck and then i'm always trying to crawl out of something like i gotta get out of the house and so i mean i'll do some hiking and around around my um the los angeles area but getting out and getting into a road trip and actually seeing the world like this is super powerful to keep our brain healthier. I know my way around, my, my brain's able to navigate, I know which directions to go in. Sometimes I feel a little nervous that I might get a little bit lost, but for the most part I stay on state trails and national park trails and I don't go out in um, you know, trailblaze trails that I'm not familiar with. And so these are some things that, again, this is a hobby for your brain. This is growing your hippocampus. This is keeping your body from having dementia when you get out and do this. But the other side of that is diet. So if you're not eating meat and protein, your brain is going to shrink. Your body's not going to have the bone and muscle that it needs to repair. So how can you actually focus on getting more fat and protein and correcting your metabolism? And so that's about resetting your metabolism, correcting it to turn off the disease causing switches in your body to flip that sugar switch off, stop eating the food that causes us to have a rapid or rapid heart rates, as well as elevated heart rate to cardiovascular risk. And that when you have that sugar switch flipped on, you're actually in a growth mo moment and you're feeding your bad bacteria, you're creating more dysbiosis in your gut, you're causing more um, issues with detoxification and more risk for cancer and um, brain disease further down, the, further down the line. So what you wanna do is flip the sugar switch off, flip those disease causing genes off, and then reset your metabolism, start getting yourself on a holistic low carb lifestyle and start getting outside and getting excited and putting yourself in situations like this where you can see a forest growing, where you can get out and get your movement and use your legs and your butt walking up a hill and up some steps and just feeling so awe so in awe of the environment around you so joyous and you're just like oh my god you're just looking around and seeing all this majesty this is what lights you up this is what lights me up and i wanted to share this with you too here from big bend state park out in santa cruz mountains of california and this is series number two of my travel edition and they're always going to have a little bit of a message on what you can actually do to support your brain and your body and your health because if you, it is a choice health as your wealth is a choice and if you want to correct your metabolism and not have the diseases of aging those are choices these are all lifestyle diseases and you can actually switch them off and correct them and so if you need help with implementing that just check me you know just email me at lauribalue.com that's l-o-r-i-b-a-l-u-e dot at gmail sorry at gmail my website is lauribalue.com lauribalue aging adventurously and i am your traveling health practitioner and aging beautifully and adventurously and that's what i guide you into as well so if you need help implementing that just email me lauribalue at gmail.com and i'll talk to you soon bye